Starting things off, oh my god, with the delayed dragon drop. What else would it be than the dragon drop? And then, okay, so we've seen the two things. We've seen A, dragon drop. We've seen B, dragon stance. That's the move. Those are the moves. Adam, okay, he doesn't drag that up. much. Woo, what a Ooh, snipe. Wow. Hey, hey the crush blow, though. Yeah, and that is a risk nowadays that it's unsafe. So cashing out on the fatal blow very fast here as we want. Gonna try to take this for breakaway. Too easy didn't get anything like that. It's a good Ooh, let's go! Back. Nope. On him! 3% left. Is that Dragon stance? It's already three, right? You will suffer. Yeah, of course. Yeah, already, yeah, definitely. Already three? Yeah. So too easy starting things off. I mean the, the dragon drop is definitely legit. Wow, that was so good. So good. It's the strongest that Stun Gun Headbutt's ever been, according to my friend Hero. I really like that way of phrasing of it. If you ever played Third Strike. And here's Rewind pressuring in the corner. No, nope, just like that. It's too easy out. Nah, not for long. Rewind's right back here. Oh, okay. Strike throw, basic mix ups, but they're working. Woo! Stealing a big set wow. of frames. Oh, punish? Well, that's fine. Punish. No, bro. but got some damage and got the corner as well. Well, well no oh, punish. Is she, is she too dinky to get punishes here? Is this what I'm? <laughs> you think so? Ooh, I mean, she, I, don't, I don't know if she has far enough fast enough buttons. I assume maybe not. Whoa! Oh, the rock is too slow. I gotta kill. But man, oh man, is this a good position, especially with the dragon stance? They're going to be a leap from rewind though. Here it is. <laughs> he tried it. He tried it. You can see the startup begin. It didn't matter. Look at those hands. Especially Dragon Stance fireballs preemptively. That kind of stuff can be really legit against her. Unblock. Reversal oh, the punishing fact. Right. Yeah, that, there could have been a third fireball. Yeah, and now Two not going to take a risk on that anymore. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Did it up. Double the low. Man, oh man. Oh yeah. Everything is yeah. rewind. I'll say. And the grab. I don't think it's quite enough. It's very close though, and that was gonna be a probably even chip. Wow. What an answer from rewind. Round two. Fight. Man, everything's One, two, out, huh? three. Directly back into the offense. 415 damage. Oh, it's too easy. We'll take that. I don't know if that was explicitly what he was looking for, but that's fine. Cancel, but I'm telling you, you're stealing double digits of frames right there. And Rewind was ready this time. Oh, yo, boy. The bunk as well. 10% left. Ooh, sniped. Go, oh, Rewind. will take it. Yeah, and right. he's going up into the sky. Yes, when you're not sure what to do anymore, go up into the sky. What happens here? Match three. Oh, dragon stance. Oh, what there with the pun. Stuff. Beautiful stuff. Somebody has done the homework right there. You can count on rewind to be somebody who's up for that. You know, I wouldn't or, be surprised if you that. Right, yeah, 327. Boy, just keeping it real basic, but so effective. And even chip from normals is killing too easy. I mean, what do you do there, man? She doesn't have fast bar buttons. Yeah, she's just kind of not in a great spot. The dash. Oh, no, it didn't hit. Properly called out. Oh no. And Rewind is really doing a great job at keeping on top. Plus frames, goes for the grab, and no tech from Too Easy, whose defense has been really just kind of stuck. And even the range is right? Everything is going right for Rewind. Yeah, right? He's just mauling, mauling Too Easy. Here's a chance. That's all. <laughs> Stop, 
it is a I, wow okay yeah. see ya. it is a risk it really is and it's here we go then that's four i mean this pick makes sense on paper but even so just another character as i say that man gets his nose punched in he basically didn't even get to play that last match so I'm happy he's going with another character looking way better so far No attempt at attack right there. And again, Rewind's strike throw game has been killer. He's got the whip. No! Okay. All over the place. He's so fast. Even though that dash punch is unsafe nowadays, he's been in there so consistently and he has not been punished. He's hit almost every single time. Oh, wow. The punish on the EX Pinata as well. Match point Rewind. He's been able to get in, he's been able to do big damage, he's been able to pressure safely and well. Well, not even safely all the time. Safely once he's up close, yes, but from that mid-range, he's brought out dash punch a lot. And like I said, it's just been effective. Okay, here is too easy. Three then. To shimmy. Or two. Nope. We can have the bar for Amplify. And just like that, everyone's back in business. Jump in. Punish! Punish. What awareness here. Anti-air comes. Ooh. Oh! You can see the startup of Dash Punch. It wasn't enough. It's still match point for Rewind here to get in the winner's finals. But too easy. Close. Close. Wow. Beautiful interruption from Too Easy staying alive in this match. Or trying to take us into a match five situation. Fight. One more round. He wins. Oh, what a, what a check, though. What? Right? 316 even before there was a break, and now it's Rewind. Where he's been even this, when this was Shiva. Whether it's Shiva, whether it's Cetron, he just feels like he's right back in there right away. Either. He's dash punches, man. Oh, no. What happened there? Okay. Too Easy's really mounting a comeback, marching through on offensive Cetron here. Deadly wins. Deadly wins to the rescue, and that maybe it on chip doesn't need chip after all, but that is tying it up actually. So it felt to me like yes, yes, destroying two shimmies, rewinds, actually biting, even though he didn't really throw that much. Ouch! How many times are we gonna see that? <laughs> I was, have we seen it five times for five games? I think. Right. Another one? No. Out of the sky. Yeah, I thought that might have come. Too easy's gonna again into that. Again, and rewind with a mall. He's at max. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, it has been very strong offense. Too easy in the corner. Wrap the teleport. First time we see it in the set. Well, he's gotta be here. real careful not to get hit right now. Almost back in the corner, David. It's been coast to coast. Okay, two. It is again. It's the grab. I'm liking this. Too easy. Out of the sky. It's not enough quite yet. It's very close. Deadly wins to end. Even just on chip is fine. Uh oh. Oh, hold on a minute. I'll let go of lock. Plus. Oh, and this believe it's relentless and too easy fights back. It's gonna be match point now for both two to two. Wow. He moves on to winners what finals. a start, man Final round. Fight. More Hard to work with Ooh, almost. 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 Yeah, it was close Where's the opener? He sits grounded as I say that Be sure you can drop the edger not gonna matter too much Wow. Wake up, jump backwards. Maybe to catch the forward moving string. That was amazing. Too easy to what? More blue stuff? Trouble. The grab, grab and rewind. Death. You are correct. It's rewind. Three games to two. Running out with the Jackie the whole way. Versus rewinds. Cetrion versus Jade. Which he tried last week, Arma.
Yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're going right into this here. Uh, now, you know, both these characters have an amazing, you know, full screen potential. Uh, where Jade has like a little bit extra utility in the fact that she can, you know, turn on the purple stuff, be completely invulnerable to uh, projectiles in this game. However, you got to be mindful. Cetrion's projectile, projectiles do not include the vine grab. That somehow is not a projectile. It's more of a physical attack. So, you know, be mindful of that whenever Jade is thrown up that purple stuff. Giving him a standing position here, rewind, taking full advantage of the fact that Jade is grabbable, and Jade more than likely looking to block and those negative frames. So very tough stuff. Now here we go. Here's that purple stuff I was mentioning here. Boulder is going to be going right through Jade's body as long as that is on. It does have a recovery enemy like on that three. But either way, wow, he was ready to challenge right in between that gap. The very first opportunity, the very first chance. Air to air here, going in the favor of Rewind. And this first round is going to be going into Rewind's favor, starting off real strong here with this Cetrion, trying to just keep her at bay. Lasers, boulders, and big earthquake stomps, not to mention those tornadoes that are totally fair. Oh, canceling right into the low. see why. Score is going for this pick. He's not blowing that much, I feel like. Oh, what an interruption as well. The punish on that vine. I wanted to Delia's dance. Hitting that chip. She does that up. She's also safe. Oh, yeah. Low. Here it is. Oh, the parry. Beautiful stuff. What a call on from Scorn. Very even round. There it is. Beautiful. And the down two as well to get some more damage. The last dance, the restand. You gotta respect that. Down two. A grab, and it's one apiece, Arma. It's it's such a strong tool to be able to cancel your down pokes into like a special move in this game. And you know, especially a special move that's either really hard to punish or a special move that is just straight up safe. Like, you, you, it's kind of like. You know, your tickets of being able to steal turn, you know, to stop those methodical players that block your pokes and they're like, okay, it's my turn to poke back. It's my turn to start offense. Like, no, maybe this crazy person's going to go into this special move and I have no idea when or when they're not going to do it. You can hit confirms here from Scar. Putting such around right next to him, but unfortunately getting a uh, toss up for Kamu himself. Rewind, cashing in big here with the throw, and then backing off, utilizing all this real estate. Scar throwing it on that purple stuff, trying to go in, little by little, trying to go around this uh, super puzzle platformer that is Cetrion's moves. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. Flawless Hold blood. on. Back throw. Is this still doable, man? Love it. One wiggle stick and it is. Low. Fishing for it. All he needs. All he needs. That's all he needs here. Only Contel will take the throw. So patient. Oh, it's so even though! It's down two! No anti-air! And that fatal blow attempt being stuffed. I'm really surprised there was no down two attempt on that jump. Maybe predicting a teleport? Not sure. Maybe it was too Could have been obvious. that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe anticipating one of those options versus another one, and definitely versus the uh, back out. Good block here from Rewind. Very late stand block. Punish. Punish that overhead. Yeah. The range. Good jab. Oh, that could have been disastrous, man. The air one. Hey! Oh. There. Love, love it. Down to Russian Polo. Good, good damage here. That throw from Rewind. Projectiles on it. Wallace block on the EXP Niata. And yeah, that's tricky to jump over. Where is the glows? Round pound, 10% left. There it is. Gotta go get around that stuff, but rewind. Not committing to anything. So as soon as Scar throws on that glow, Rewind's like, okay, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna throw boulders. I'm gonna just wait it out. Cetrion has 
probably the best backdash in the game, if not one of the best backdashes in the game. So, you know, mobility is not a, you know, a, a weak attribute for her. Oh, gets the down two, but it whips. It was the perfect call out here from Re Rewind, able to recognize the fact that that throw whiffed, but he just wasn't close enough to cash in big time here on that universal crushing blow. Look at the patience, man. Just walking. Safe. So many times finding himself full screen, man. This matchup. Heavy punish from Star. I know that's a very tight punch. Mm -hmm. It's not the coolest yeah, thing in the yeah. world, but it is punishable. It absolutely is punishable. Run up rock walls, amplifying it, trying to keep Scar guessing. You know, if you don't amplify it, it is unsafe, but you just never know when they're actually going to amplify, especially if they have the resources to do it. So you're always just kind of guessing here. Rewind and punishing that string literally every single time Scar's presented it to him. Just the raw global arm up. Wants none of it. I've locked enough. Did it. Just did it. And it wasn't enough. The teleport. the teleport, Arma. The teleport. Lots of backdashes. Yeah. The pull. Smart. Taking those frames to blow up. Look at that. What is this? And the wiggle stick was 70 seconds on the clock. Smart stuff from Score. Staying alive from this game, too. Yeah, I think Rewind miscalculated how long that purple stuff lasts. And I think he just did the laser like a little too early. Uh, so it's very, very unfortunate for him. Uh, you know, Scar's still in this. Scar trying to take game number one, trying to make this a really, really good set, a close set, which is definitely what we want to see. Going right into the low stick here. Ilya's dance. Good logs hey, he's been on us. I, I, but I feel like Scar hasn't been flawless blocking that gap. There's a gap there between, you know, the regular part of Rock Wall and the amplified version, mm -hmm. uh, version, but like, I feel like he just doesn't want to take the risk. There we go. There's some flawless blocking right in between that string, right in, the, in that gap in the string, I should say. Lasering, amp second amplified portion, not connecting at all here. The star closed, does have the purple stuff on, and that was Whoa, smart. You. He knew that she was going to cancel into something, some kind of projectile, because it was most likely not going to be the mine. Submission from score. Look so well, down one, down one, down one, then there's this. And another one. Wow. Or the other. Um, so a lot of reactionary uh, or time reactionary based uh, blocking, which has pretty much been a Mortal Kombat thing from the very, very beginning. But right now, Rewind, uh, sticking it out here with Cetrion. I don't I don't believe we had any kind of variation of ability switch here, which I definitely agree with. It was close, definitely close set so far. One to one, a piece here. They've all been really close, I feel like, these rounds. Not only these games. Oh, well, Zach, active. Yeah. Almost blocked. Yeah, I'm really, uh, super committing to anything here. Fine. Not trying to get too risky. Just kind of trying to keep it as safe as possible. Uh, a string that doesn't have the fall. Wow. <laughs> oh, never mind. He said that. He goes for a throw. Yeah, he eats some good damage here. He just did it. The raw fatal blow armor. On block. He just did What's this. Up? What's up? What's up? All of a sudden. <laughs> Sometimes you just not enough. Nine percent. Nine percent. I don't know. Yeah, let's dance. Just like that. Absolutely yeah. stolen. Absolutely stolen with the fatal blow on block. Round two. <laughs> Wiggle stick, fatal blow. That's the new tech, guys. That's, that's the new tech. Just did it. Just, just do it. Just, Scar's telling yeah, me. Yeah, all start from the throw, man. <laughs> I don't care if I'm playing Combat League Demon, you know, number three on Wi-Fi. I don't care if I'm playing <laughs> one of the best players, you know, in the tournament setting on Wired. Like, you just got to do it sometimes, especially when you're fatal blow. You know, you're, you're conditioning your, your opponent to, like, you know, be mindful of that blow the whole time and then just just do it just do the, the fatal blow out of nowhere now i know it has a really big tell it has a really specific animation but you know it, it even catches some of the best players by surprise rewind definitely answering back on this round here 
Oh, almost caught him with the overhead. Rewind striking first with that 42. Evening things out here. One game apiece, one round apiece. Both almost even on meter. Deadly wins. Seen too many of those in this game. And he's taking those plus frames to the low up. This one's up. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and you got the breathing room. Look, man. That that string, like the string has been punishing, but like whether that vine grab connects or not, it, it seems like it's very it's like space specific. Like if he's not close enough, it's not going to connect. So, you know, I, I feel like Rewind's got to think of maybe try not to risk it too much to go for and try to go for something else. Be a little bit more guaranteed. I mean, it could be something that he's going to lab later tonight and see because I, I've been seeing that error this whole set so far. Recording right next to Jade. Blocking the low now that we know uh, Fatal Blow is no longer uh, an option <laughs> on the table here. <laughs> Doesn't have to worry about that one. But man, oh man, these games have been really, really slow. Which makes sense for two characters that aren't that combo heavy. Playing it really slow, saying that 15 seconds on the clock. Score has to pull the trigger here. Rewind yeah, is trying yeah, to play Scar really late with all those back dashes. It's not happening. He's just gonna block. And that's it. Yeah, it takes oh, smart yeah. stuff. It takes too long. You know, e even there after the knockdown, whether it's like a regular combo, a juggle, or a throw, a resource here in Mortal Kombat 11. And uh, that was just a, a prime example of that. Oh, he thought he got under the laser, but he just wasn't close enough. Uh, not too much. You know, Cetriana, as good of a character she is, she does, I, I will admit that she does lack a little bit of the, uh, the, the amount of damage. You know. Like the combos and punishes. Man. So, yeah, you, you gotta play her a little differently. You know, I feel like you usually go a little bit more risky against characters like Cetriana. Uh, because you know, yeah, in the first case, she's gonna dead that one shot, especially blow, pop up. She's got a one time. Even uh, all he's that not chip, looking man. good for Scar. Yeah, no, yeah. not at all. A lot of chip. Went for a rather desperate nitro kick here from Jade. Mm -hmm. Just hoping to connect something. I mean, even if he connected it, she's like far away from her after. So I don't really know what he was expecting with uh, that outcome to be here. Try it again. Got really no one's home. Great, like, too many great options here. All these different ranges. Oh, the tail end of the wow. tomato flipping Scar. Yeah, right. Scar's looking a little... Yeah, he's left. looking really frustrated here. Right. And this is not looking like all the other rounds. Really convincing stuff for Rewind. Not close whatsoever. Not sure what he changed there. But man, oh man, was it effective. Yeah, that was really good. And I just feel like, you know, Scar... Thrown out a lot of nitro kicks, especially in that last round. I feel like he did like three nitro kicks that all got punished, whether they were blocked and punished. We have seen both last time grand finals and in winners finals that it was Jade versus Cetrion. But here's Scar is gonna go with, oh yeah, with the, I don't even know what the special move thing is called. The little ghost he has, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm interested. He, he did say on Twitter, I remember after the first uh, week, that he he had just started working on Jade and he was very curious to see like how it would go. But uh, I think it's great to see him now playing with the character that he feels more comfortable with. He yeah, tried to win a final and it didn't work as we all saw. Definitely what we want to see. Uh, you know, especially someone, you know, you know someone from playing a character for so long. It's really cool to see, you know, some of the different abilities, ones that we didn't really get to see shine. What a hit confirmed into that fatal blow here from Rewind. Able to just kind of clip the toes of Kung Lao at max range and Rewind recognizing and saying, yes, not only is this going to hit, not only is this hitting right now, but also it's going to be enough damage to kill if I use this fatal blow. And you might as well go for it. Start off strong here, stop that momentum right in his tracks. His scar is coming back, feeling pretty good. Coming back from the loser's side here, feeling confident after, you know, uh, winning 
uh, that last specific set. Yeah, he looked really good versus Brook, that's for sure. So far, Rewan's in this round doing a pretty good job of controlling the stage. Oh, the cancel? But Scar had already blocked. Here's Rewind trying it up close. Scar slowly trying to move his way forward. He'd love to just get one big chance. We saw in the last round that if he does, he can really take a lot of damage. Rewind tries him. Deadly wins coming out. Spear is Scar needs something soon. He needs something big now. Defensive bar's all gone. If Scar can find two significant hits, he's not gonna get it. It's game number one. Going and you know, sometimes you're not gonna guess right, even at you know, farther ranges. Don't guess right, you're gonna lose health. Uh, so right now, Scar, start a new here. Game number two. Dive kick it right past. Yeah, right past that laser. Ice, right? Very good position to get in there. He's got the corner, and Rewind has no defensive bar. Rewind's in a bad spot. Actually, you can't just Scar teleport out. Exactly. Okay, battling out of the corner, nevertheless, though, was Rewind. I think Scar's okay with those trades. Considering how much health he's got, he will take those trades day in, day out at this exact scenario here. Double hats coming out thanks to the amplification. Rewind, lasering, and then teleporting a little bit closer into the corner, but knowing, again, that teleport can just come out at any moment. It's very tough to react to, you know, especially if they have meter and you think they're going to be the farther one, you want to chase them down versus trying to punish them if they're close to you. Uh, so always just like a little bit of a guessing game here. Back throw from Scar, and that is going to be enough. Once he locks Rewind down, really just kind of stopping any kind of exit there from that down three. Uh, and then just going for a regular throw, knowing Rewind is the type of player to lock in that scenario. We're seeing such a classic ancient bulldogging style here by Scar. Yeah, he's getting hit now and then. Citron's rarely doing a lot of damage. You know, it's 150 or so. No, it's not a huge deal. It's just annoying. But if you don't feel that it's annoying, if you're just content to, like, move forward, this is just a classic way to approach in fighting games. And Scar has done it yet again. He's got more damage okay. than himself. I love that fake throw attempt there from Scar. Just kind of going right up to him and just hitting him with buttons instead. Rewind definitely looking for some kind of throw attack here. Scar not finishing that string and just kind of keeping him close there, trying to lock him down here. He does. That successful down three does get... Oh, he dropped the ender. You don't want to get rewinded in it because he will take a mile. Well, he's still stuck in the corner. He hasn't found his way out yet, but you know he'd love to find it. Ooh. Look at that movement. Look at that movement. Yeah, oh, he's rewind, just he's all over the place. Right, he's controlling. He's up close. He's harassing in this way. And Scar, this is really the other side of that patient bulldogging style. Yeah, I'll hang out. Look at the time. 15 seconds on the clock. All Scar needs is a couple hits on block. He doesn't even need them to connect. And he knows this. Down three is good enough. That's the tax. Scar was trying to just kind of, you know, chip away at him as best as he could. I feel like if he had a different projectile, if he didn't have possessed that, as soon as I say that, of course he flawless box it. But I'm just saying, huh? it seems like a tougher one to flawless box. Like, of course, rewind flawless box is good. Um, but, but to me, it just seems like the timing is very, it has a very variable timing, uh, depending on where the arc of that little jiggle hat is. Yeah, even from point blank, it's minus 10. I'm usually at like a spot where people's jabs aren't going to reach. Oh, okay. Rewind did not even want to be there. He wasn't even involved. <laughs> it's like, I don't even want to guess. I'm just going to wait yeah. for you. And here comes my, my, my approach afterwards. You know, whether that's a whiff punish or your time to block, I don't care. I'm not taking a risk with, you know, when you're coming out. Just, I know you're going to come out there and I'll be here. I'll be over here when the time is. Scar on the chase, on the move, blocking so well, but Rewind's in instead. Scar just didn't expect it that time. So you were saying, that teleport does recover very fast. In there again. It's definitely a different style too. It's not just the runaway here from Rewind. We saw Shurs, Shades, we always see it from Seth Trana moving in sometimes, but it feels like he's more studiously trying to make that happen this time. Oh, what a Scar wanted to get that armor-breaking dive kick out there, but uh, 
unfortunately, I'm not able to access it. Attacks on down three. Scar's close. If you can find one hit confirm. Either way, actually, if either one finds the right hit confirm. And it's directly into Fatal Blow. That was the way he needed to kill. He was aware of it, and Rewind is gonna take it. It's two to one. Now the question must be posed to Scar. Will he stick with this character, or do you think that he'll go to the Jade? Then from there, it still wasn't an easy task. Uh, you know, right. you had to make up with Delia's dance a little bit, which doesn't even get you a lot of damage uh, to begin with. Whereas Kung Lao, it's like, all right, you get in, then you either abuse throws, or you make them so scared of throws that they're susceptible to strikes, and you know, you cash it. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, that made me <laughs> follow the water that I had in my, in my mouth. That anti is so sick! What a great button that is. Uh, uh, Commentary is on you for a bit. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Alright, cough it out, cough it out. You're okay. <laughs> a big dive in kick, uh, dive kick coming in here from a Scar. Ancestor does whiff there as uh, Rewind able to recognize, knows that it's his turn to just kind of go in there, press some buttons. Here comes the possessed wiggly hat back and forth. And what a teleport. I think what a call. reaction to that hat. That's how it seems to me now, because I've seen him teleport on reaction to that hat. What, what seems like on reaction to that hat quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. When that hat whiffs, you know, he's still, you know, in the recovery frame. So you gotta watch out there. That's a big spin to win here from Scar. Able to connect that fatal blow right into it. And this should be all she wrote here for this round. A few more hits left. Definitely not enough help to withstand that big kick right to the back of the head. As Scar comes off that finite resource, he's okay with it. Knowing that it secured him the round, he is gonna be able to you know, go into these next rounds without it, but all he's gotta do is win one round without his fatal blow, and uh, he'll be in a, a game five scenario for this first set. Wiggly Hat does get blocked, and Rewind going in right away with that forward dash throw. Looks like Scar was ready for it. Scar's got some offense going for him, or could have anyway. Yeah, maybe with Cognizant that that may come out. Rewind's right back in, doing a little bit of damage every time. Again, not a lot, but it can mount, as we all know. The bulldogging begins here from Scar. He's slowly moving. Oh, chance! Oh, it was so far! He tried it with the KB string, and nope. Yeah, I feel like a lot of Cetrion players recognize that that string whiffs and then like out of panic, they're like, oh, I got to finish the string so that it's hard for them to punish me. And then they're just I, like, I, I, yeah, oh, so they're teleporting. On well, and then ground pound to put himself at match point and also at tournament point. Final round, fight. And Rewind closes out right here, right now. The boulder knocking Scar down, keeping him really far. He's trying to dive kick around these projectiles, dive kick around these obstacles, bringing it a little closer to Rewind. He still does have bar. Never mind, came off the defensive bar. Regular teleport, not a punish, but it looked like Rewind was trying to either jump or backdash do something here. Uh, but I believe that was not a clean punish here from Scar. It was one of the tougher things. Get, to be um, out of there, yeah, yeah it turns bars just to escape, and now the chase begins again. Now you know that if Scar finds the hit, he's gonna do so much. Wow. Okay. That led to so much damage here. 36, nearly right. 37 percent here for a projectile. For a projectile hitting you. Oh, big punish! Oh, okay. And still no defensive bar. That's the cost of bar teleport right there. That combo, the combo before. Wait. Teleport. Uh, both equipped here, which have been doing a lot for oh, Wallace blocking that second part is not the easiest thing to do. It's got a gap, but, you know, a lot of Cetrion players like to play with the idea that they're not going to amplify the rock and then, you know, let them not get punished for just doing the raw rock wall by itself, but you just never, ever know. The specific range is very tough to home in on it. What a call! Scar didn't quite get the punish, though. He certainly understood that there was about to be a teleport, hence the jump. Scar finds it again! Again, significant damage. Yes, and ending here, 376. Let's rewind. 
in a real bind. He's got two defensive bars. Will he skedaddle? No, not quite. That bar maybe was. There it is. And Second. in, what a call! Can we talk about that right there? Scar surely expected to have to chase, but instead Rewind's here trying to overcome this life deficit. In this match, that will either win the tournament or get the reset. Rewind! In there, yet again, it's not just about run away, it's not just about keep away. Sometimes she's in there as well, and offense has been a big part of why Rewind is at Where tournament. Yeah, offensive teleports, you know, a lot of things have recovery, and that's how Rewind is using it. That teleport leaves you right next to your opponent. Might not be as fast as Raiden's, but definitely can be used the same way as he's recovering from throwing the hat. Rewind gets a nice combo here. Scar thinking he's going for the throw, goes for the regular strike. Then the next time he's going for the, he thinks he's going for the strike again, but goes for the throw this time. Rewind guessing right over and over again in these scenarios. And Scar is just left no. scratching his head, wondering, how do I approach this? I'm wondering how you approach that boulder hanging out in the middle of the stage. <laughs> I was getting Rewind getting the damage from himself. Scar move this approach. No, the second hit does connect. Rewind tries it that hit and run style. He only needs to hit maybe once, twice more. Something like that. It's close. He's got the big opportunity. It's not gonna be enough. But chip damage is real now as well. Looking for the KB. Okay. No break. He tried to chase a backdash. It's not gonna do it. Scar takes it, and two weeks in a row, he wins the Mortal Kombat Pro Competition North America West over Scar. Yeah, so it looks like we have back-to-back uh, -back repeat winners from both the NA West and NA East uh, tonight. You know, and and it's it's showing consistency. You know, these players are really, really good uh, in Rewind and in combat. Uh, they understand what it takes to be a top-level player. They know how to practice. They know how to practice.